guys and girls Rose Burnett here and we're going to be doing an energy reading for what you need to know right now yeah so whenever you're watching this is the most perfect time for you I will just let you know I'm running a competition for May so it runs from the 1st of May or whenever you're watching this video right through to the end of May so for those of you that are brand new to my channel that subscribe to my channel this month enjoy my videos you'll go into the draw to win the sacred power oracle by Anna Stark beautiful oracle deck and uh, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and in the comments below this video or any of the other videos you watch during the month on my YouTube channels let me know that you want to win that you're new to my channel that you want to win this deck yeah and uh, for those of you that have followed me regularly as well as those of you that are new to my channel I'll be giving away a personal reading with me which I haven't done for a long time yeah it's a 45 minute pre-recorded reading where you get to answer the most burning questions you want answered and uh, one lucky winner will win that so I'll be looking for somebody that is a very positive community member uh, also you know that you do comment add some feedback and say yeah hey I'd love to win that personal reading mm -hmm. do that and you'll go into the draw all right let's dive in my loves and if you want to invest in yourself I will just let you know that you can get my bonus readings in the members area all you have to do is uh, hit that join button below this video or on my channel and you can get four bonus readings from me every month for just $4.95 you get a love reading you get a life purpose reading and two energy readings in the second half of the month so uh, go and check that out all right Gemini we're going to pull you an opening energy from the beautiful precious gems oracle oh, you pull a lantern aside look at the colors on that it's all about emotional purity number six can represent love and abundance so it's very much about you cleansing your emotional waters letting go of anything that no longer serves you anything that holds you back in life it's time to clear those past energies to allow yourself to open up to the new to fresh possibilities new opportunities looking at things in a different perspective more in a more positive and open light all right let's pull you some guidance from the uh, beautiful star temple oracle yeah wow this is almost word for word what i just said you pulled father of the sky which is all about god the god presence yeah i release the weight of the world from my shoulders absolutely a need to release gemini things that have gone in the past yeah they've gone mm -hmm. all right what we're going to do next is pull you some oracle messages and then we're going to read the energies so first up we're going to pull you some from the sacred destiny oracle Mm. it's kind of mirroring what came through in your may 2023 monthly reading so go and check that out if you haven't already watched it mm. oh wow okay clear message please for gemini thank you Oh, darlings, wait till you see it. <laughs> wait till you see it. I was going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Messenger Oracle. And I would just say that uh, if you do want to get a personal reading from me, I have just recently dropped the prices on them to make them a bit more affordable for everyone. Uh, so basically answer the questions you'd most like answered. It includes an Akashic record check, deeply transformational and healing. So I'll put the book, booking link and info on here and down below. Mm, okay yeah look we've got a lot of animal spirit guides coming out for you I'll pull you an extra one there okay i'm just going to pull some guidance from the nature's whispers oracle right well these make a lot of sense my loves so there's a need for you to take some quiet time in solitude by himself rowing a boat on a lake at night time which probably wouldn't recommend that my loves but it's just the concept of it in the moonlight but it's finding that place of tranquility spirit saying you need to do that so that you can seek the lessons and find that clarity about what you need to learn from the experiences that you've gone through in life that have been negative 
that you need to release from self, particularly if you're finding they're still attached to you or you're still attaching your energy, your emotions to it and giving it more time and space in your energy field than you need to because Spirit's saying it's time to release it. Yeah, you need to learn the lessons so don't repeat them going forward. You're going through this beautiful transformation. You've got the butterfly here. So coming out of the caterpillar cocoon and into the butterfly, stepping into the light, embracing all aspects of self, more happiness, more joy wants to happen in your life. And you have the lion here, which is all about courage and strength, relying on your courage and strength. To do the healing you need, it's only release. I'm not saying there's a lot of healing you need to do. You need to release, my darlings. So you can just release burdens from self. Because you're healing chaos. There's a big tornado here. But out of the chaos is all these butterflies, right? This new beginning, this transformation. Uh, Spirit's saying there's a need for you to be vigilant with people around you, the energy around you. Now, this came through strongly in your May reading. So if you've not watched that, please go and watch it. There's someone that's in your friendship circle or family that I'm not going to say it could be community, but it seems to be somebody that knows you well enough to project their energy at you. Um, particularly around these changes that you're going through because uh, you've got the horse so lots of animal spirit guides coming through for you um, which is stepping into your personal power do you out allow others to ride on your back and tell you what to do or do you take the reins of your own life mm -hmm. when you do when you do this you've got major blessings coming into your life you're opening up your flows to your abundance to joy to happiness to light to love but you need to embrace the shadow side of self. Stop pushing stuff down that you've been trying to bury for a long time. It needs to come to the surface to be cleansed and healed. And you got the message from Spirit to make a wish. What do, you, what do you want your life to look like? What blessings do you want to come to you? Put it out there to the universe. And there's a need for you to see the big picture. So how you've contributed to situations, the choices and decisions you've made, What's yours to own? What's somebody else's to own in terms of the actions and decisions they made, yeah? And some of you are feeling, and you are going to feel, emotionally vulnerable because when we open up a can of worms, right, that's been buried for so long, it does make us emotionally vulnerable because we're finally facing what's been bothering us below the surface for a long time versus we didn't face it the first time around. We just shoved it down and got on with life, yeah? Spirit's asking you to do that work that is going to make you feel emotionally vulnerable so you can release it and open up to these blessings, these new beginnings. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say to you that this person here is not going to be used to you, the new you, right? So they're going to act up quite a bit, quite a bit, yep. And it's got nothing to do with you personally. It's about them feeling uncomfortable by the new you, channeling through that message. All right, let's pull your message from your healing angels. Oh, you've got a heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. So what's important to you? Tap into that. Mm -hmm. It's your journey, Gemini. It's not anybody else's journey. It's your life journey. Mm-hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Don't forget to let me know down there, those of you that are new to my channel that have subscribed, those of you that have been following me for a while, what competition prizes do you want to win? And you'll go into the draw. All right, take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.